these special purpose ships are designed to have super wide hulls. Some are built like this to accommodate thousands of passengers, while other ships are built like this to carry supersized cargo. Join me for today's video as we take a look at 15 super wide boats and ships. Number 15. The Ever Ace. Ever Ace is one of the Evergreen A-Class ships, which are a series of 13 container ships, and although she has a pretty cool name, perhaps her hashtag should be Go Big or Go Home. Ever Ace is fairly new to the container ship scene. She was built in 2021, but from the moment she made her maiden voyage, she started smashing the world records. Ever Ace is operated by the Evergreen Marine Corporation, and she currently is the world's largest cargo ship. Ever Ace can carry 23,992 standard containers, which is the most that any container ship has ever carried. This massive ship is 1,300 feet long, and since she was built to carry containers and lots of them, she boasts an incredibly wide width. And while she isn't technically the widest ship in the world, you'll see that ship later, she's pretty damn close. Number 14. Ramform Titan Like many of the ships and boats on this list, the Ramform Titan is a world record holder. The Ramform Titan is the most powerful and efficient marine seismic acquisition vessel ever built. Plus, with a width at the stern of 229 feet, the Ramform Titan is the widest ship in the world at the waterline. The ship features 60 single cabins where up to 80 crew members can live comfortably while at sea. She's also got a fitness room, a swimming pool, a sauna, and three TV areas. She carries over 6,000 tons of fuel and equipment, can tow several hundred thousand recording sensors over an area that's greater than 7 square miles at a maximum speed of 16 knots. Number 13. The Blue Marlin The Blue Marlin is so wide, it looks wider than it does long. In fact, at first glance, the Blue Marlin doesn't even really look like a ship at all because she's so wide. It's a 738-foot semi-submersible heavy lift ship. The ship can accommodate a crew of up to 60 people. The Blue Marlin was first launched in April of 2000, and she's used to transport drilling rigs along with other large sea vessels, like Navy warships. In 2003, she was taken out of service so her maneuverability could be improved. This was done by adding two retractable propulsors. The Blue Marlin was back in service in 2004 and remains in service to this day. Number 12. Harmony of the Seas Cruise ships are easily some of the biggest ships on the seas, and given the wide range of amenities and the number of passengers they can accommodate, cruise ships are much wider than your average seafaring ship. The Harmony of the Seas is a luxury cruise ship owned by Royal Caribbean. She made her maiden voyage back in 2016, and you can clearly see from the pictures just how wide this floating ship of luxury really is. Harmony of the Seas cost $1.3 billion to build and has 2,700 staterooms, 18 decks, and requires a crew of 2,300 to run. The ship is wide enough to boast four swimming pools, 10 hot tubs, a casino, water slides, and two surf simulators, plus an ice skating rink and a full-size basketball court, amongst other things. Number 11. USS Theodore Roosevelt the USS Theodore Roosevelt is a super-wide Nimitz-class aircraft carrier that was first launched in 1984. She's used by the U.S. Navy, and her impressive size comes with an equally impressive weight. She weighs more than 100,000 tons. The USS Theodore Roosevelt is wide enough to accommodate 90 aircraft, fixed-winged, and helicopters all at the same time. She's often called the Big Stick by Navy officers along with her massive width. She's also got another really interesting feature. The USS Theodore Roosevelt is nuclear-powered. This means she can pretty much travel around the seas indefinitely. She only needs to stop when she needs to restock supplies and food. Number 10. Azam Ever wondered what the longest super yacht in the world looks like? Well, wonder no more, because here she is, the Azam. She currently holds the title for the world's biggest yacht, so you better believe this supersized ship is extremely wide. The Azam is a private yacht that's owned by Sheikh Khalifa, who is the president of the United Arab Emirates. She's 590 feet long, and along with length, the yacht is wide enough to accommodate pretty much anything you'd find in a mansion, including a golf training room and an onboard gym. She was launched for the first time in April of 2013, and it's estimated that it cost nearly $600 million to build. She can travel at top speeds of 32 knots, which is impressive considering her size. Number 9. MOL Triumph 
MOL Triumph is a container ship, and she, along with her five alliterative sister ships, the Trust, the Tribute, the Tradition, the Truth, and the Treasure, was built for Mitsui OSK, which is a Japanese shipping operator. MOL Triumph has a length of 1,312 feet and a width at the beam of 193 feet, which is pretty wide for a container ship. She was built in Goji, South Korea by Samsung Heavy Industries, and she saw completion in March of 2017. She can travel at a top speed of about 24 knots, but her service speed is closer to 22 knots. Triumph has a maximum cargo capacity of 20,170 shipping containers. She has a number of energy-saving technologies, some of which are pretty advanced for a shipping container. Triumph features high-efficiency rudder and propeller, as well as low-friction underwater paint. This allows for a reduction in water resistance. The MOL Triumph travels along Alliance's Asia to Europe trade by way of the FE2 service. Her maiden voyage was in April of 2017, where she went from Asia, transited through the Suez Canal, called on ports in Northern Europe, and then went back to Asia. Number 8. Island Victory Tugboats, they're known for power. They tug some pretty heavy stuff. Island Victory is believed to be the most powerful tugboat in the world. She's also one of the widest. Island Victory is a Norwegian ship, and she entered service recently. She belongs to the offshore company Island Offshore. Just her anchor alone is 82 feet wide, and she's got a total installed power of 42,800 horsepower. Plus, she's a multi-purpose vessel. She's classed as a special-purpose ship and was built at Vard Langston in 2020. She sails under the Norwegian flag and features a cargo deck that's 4,200 square feet. According to some sources, Island Victory has been called a remarkable amalgamation of innovative marine engineering and incredible power. She's got a 250-ton crane, two rail cranes, and a 12-ton deck crane, just to name a few of her awesome features. And when she's not busy tugging, Island Victory can also work as an oil recovery ship in Norwegian waters, since she's got a 7,500 cubic foot storage tank. Number 7. The Prelude Prelude is one of the more interesting ships on this list, and perhaps her name Prelude refers to a prelude of things to come in the world of gas platforms. Why? Because she was the first vessel that could liquefy natural gas while out in the water. Prelude is a super-wide vessel that's owned by Shell Australia, and along with her being super-wide, it also boasts the fact that it's the first floating liquefied natural gas platform in the world. She was the first ship that was capable of both collecting and liquefying natural gas while out at sea. This means there is no need to lay pipes all along the floor of the ocean. The Prelude is 1,601 feet long and weighs a staggering 300,000 tons without a full load. With a full load, her weight goes up to 600,000 tons. The platform's hull was first launched in December of 2013, and all in all, she cost about $3.5 billion to build. Prelude's used for drilling and gas production off the coast of Australia, and as you can see, this behemoth platform is really, really wide. Number 6. Barzan Barzan was built in South Korea for the UASC, the United Arab Shipping Company. The ship was built by Hyundai Heavy Industries, and when Barzan was completed in 2015, it easily climbed the ranks of container ships and claimed its position among some of the largest in the world. But Barzan also boasted another feature. She had the lowest per container level of carbon emissions that the world has ever seen. In fact, her carbon emissions are so low that they were quoted to be just 50% less than the carbon emissions limits set by the International Maritime Organization in 2022. With a gross tonnage of 195,000 tons, Barzan took six months to complete, and she serves the ACE-1 Asia to Europe container service route. This route brings her into several international ports, including ports in Yantian, South China, Shanghai and Ningbo in Central China, Qingdao in Northern China, and the London Gateway, Hamburg, Rotterdam, and Zeebrugge ports all in Northern Europe. Number 5. Dockwise Vanguard The Dockwise Vanguard is the single biggest semi-submersible vessel of her type ever built. Measuring in at about 900 feet long, this massive vessel weighs 116,000 tons, and can carry up to 110,000 tons of cargo. And even though she's already really wide, because she has no bow, she can actually carry cargo that's wider than her own deck. She's mostly used for transport. She transports floating oil rigs and larger ships. But transporting these massive rigs and ships isn't her only feature. The Dockwise Vanguard is also used as a dry dock for any urgent repairs needed at sea. 
the ship can partially submerge herself to allow for the pickup of other vessels. This reduces some of the costs involved with oil rig building because it's so less expensive to transport and build in a shipyard than it is to build out at sea. So Dockwise Vanguard offers up an alternative to some of the more costly aspects of oil rig building. Number 4. CSCL Globe Trains transport containers across countries and even across continents in some cases, but some of the stuff we need is overseas and there's no train tracks running across the Pacific Ocean, so we need to build massive ships to take our containers across the sea. As such, those ships are some of the widest ships around, which is why there are several of them on this list. They have to be to make room for all those containers. And as international shipping in the global market continues to expand, we need to keep building bigger ships for all those containers. When it comes to really big container ships, then look no further than the CSCL Globe. She was the largest container ship in the world when she launched, and even though her title has been taken, she's still one of the largest container ships on the water. The ship's owned by China Shipping Container Line, and she made her maiden voyage in December of 2014. When unencumbered, the globe weighs 190,000 tons, but when the time comes, she can hold 19,000 20-foot-long shipping containers. Needless to say, the CSCL Globe gets a lot of shipping done thanks to her supersized width. Number 3. Seawise Giant Is it the Happy Giant, the Yahoo Viking, the Obama, the Nock Nevis? This ship is known by all these names, although her most common name is the Seawise Giant. This Seawise Giant is an oil tanker that was built by Sumitomo Heavy Industries in the late 1970s. Her construction took place at their shipyard in Kanagawa, Japan. During her years of service, she changed hands several times, and during her time at sea, she was widely considered to be the longest ship ever constructed, as well as one of the widest. She was also the heaviest self-propelled ship of any kind in the world while in service. Seawise Giant was sunk in 1988 during the Iran-Iraq War, but that wasn't her end. She was actually salvaged, restored, and sent back into service until she was eventually scrapped in 2010. And even though she's no longer in service, the legacy of this massive super-wide oil tanker lives on. Number 2. Wonder of the Seas The fight for the world's largest cruise ship is a constant battle. It seems like as soon as a new cruise ship has been crowned the winner, another one cruises in to claim the crown. Behold, the Wonder of the Seas, the world's largest cruise ship, for the time being at least. This massive cruise ship took three years to build and is owned by Royal Caribbean International. She's an Oasis-class cruise ship. She was built in France at the Chantier de l'Antique shipyard. Wonder of the Seas has 18 decks and can accommodate up to 6,988 guests. She's 1,188 feet long with a gross tonnage of 236,000 tons. So, just how wide is this queen of all cruise ships? Well, she's got a zip line that's 10 decks high, she's got four pools, one with a poolside movie screen, she boasts the tallest slide at sea, and she's got eight different neighborhoods, each with their own theme. And just so you can get an idea of how big this ship really is, one of the neighborhoods, called Central Park, features more than 20,000 real plants in it. And one of the neighborhoods, called The Sweet Neighborhood, is an entire exclusive enclave with a lounge and a restaurant. But if that doesn't put her size into perspective, maybe this will. Wonder of the Seas is six times larger than the Titanic. She's got restaurants that cover pretty much any cuisine you could ever want and more entertainment options that you could probably take on in just one cruise. But wait, there's more. Wonder of the Seas has a full-size basketball court. She's got an ice skating rink. She's got a theater that can sit 1,400 people. She has not just one, but two 43-foot rock climbing walls. The Wonder of the Seas website claims that the boat is larger than life, island-hopping adventure with epic thrills for all ages. Well, although she's the biggest and one of the widest cruise ship in the world, I can't help but wonder when the Wonder of the Seas will lose her title to something even bigger, even though the idea of something even bigger seems a bit hard to believe at the moment. Number 1. Pioneering Spirit Pioneering Spirit is officially the largest twinned-hulled vessel ever built. And at 407 feet wide, she's also the widest ship in the world. Pioneering Spirit was formerly known as the Pieter Schelte, and she's a catamaran crane vessel. This super-wide ship belongs to All Seas Group, and her primary function is for the single-lift installation and removal of large oil and gas platforms, as well as the installation of record-weight pipelines. 
Along with being the widest ship in the world, Pioneering Spirit is also the largest floating shear leg in the world. She started her offshore operations in 2016, but she's a slow-moving vessel reaching top speeds of just 14 knots. But given her size and weight, her slow speed is not surprising. She can lift entire platforms that weigh up to 48,000 tons. This means she can reduce the amount of offshore work that's associated with decommissioning and installing by moving the work onshore. And since onshore work is both safer and more cost-effective, Pioneering Spirit is paving the way for construction ships and their capabilities. She was built in South Korea, and because she's the widest ship in the world, currently, she's slogged her way into the top spot on this list of 15 super-wide ships and boats. Watch our Waves playlist for more top 15 videos about massive waves. Sit back, relax, and binge-watch all of our best wave videos.